Hi, it's Isabella from Vacuum Zaras, and today we're going to go over some of the magnetic features on the M17 Continental. So one feature on the M17 that is magnetic happens to be the top half of the cover. So to open it up, you're going to hit this button right here, helpfully labeled open, and it's going to pop up just like that. You can see the magnets right here holding that in place when it is closed. To pop up your spool pins, they're right here. You're actually going to hit this button and they'll pop right up for you. If you see right through here, these are some of the stitches you can have for your utility stitches, your buttonholes, that kind of thing. However, the M17 does come with a plethora of stitches. So many, in fact, that they actually made magnetic cards for you. So if I want to do kids stitches right here, I can set that right here. And now I can see all my kids stitches. If I want to do animal monogramming or lifestyle, that right there. If I want to do any botanical line work, then right through there. And there's a plethora of these, so you can see your stitch selection is wide. We have decorative, we have satin, quilting stitches, quilt styles, a lot of options here. This is for your threading. This will be your first step in threading the M17. You're gonna take this up, boom, and it's gonna feed your thread vertically down into the machine, which makes for a much easier, faster sewing process. Then we're going to hit the lock button right here, and we're going to hit our needle thread button right here. And the M17 threads itself. Changing the needle plate on the M17 Continental is super easy as well. When you want to change your needle plate, you're going to go ahead and you're going to hit that lock button again. This button right here will gently lift the needle plate up from the machine, and then you can just slide it on out. Winding the bobbin on the M17 is just as easy as the click of a button. When you have your bobbin on the bobbin winder, you're gonna engage the bobbin winding mechanism, and then you're gonna press this button right here. The M17 will quietly and quickly wind that bobbin. The M17 Continental is what's known as a combination machine. The machine does both embroidery as well as sewing. When engaging the embroidery unit, Janome has made it simple. The embroidery unit is magnetic. So, when you want to disengage embroidery mode, all you're going to do is slide the unit off. The machine will let you know that you have to repower the machine on and then you have a sewing machine. The M17 Continental is going to have a wide berth of throat space for you to work with when you're quilting or embroidering. It's gonna be about 13 and a half inches from right here to the head of the machine. In addition to that 13 and a half inches of throat space, we're going to have about five and a half inches from the bed of the machine to the top of the machine. So you're gonna have ample amount of worm to work with. The Janome M17 Continental also has two dual screen LEDs. So this makes it easier to keep your hands by the needle and make quick adjustments to your stitch width, your stitch length, or even your presser foot pressure when you're doing delicate fabrics such as silk or anything of that matter. It's just a quick button touch right here. Your width is a dial as well as your stitch length for even easier usage of the machine. The Janome Continental M17 also has a super easy user interface. Of course, the machine does come with user lessons, but don't worry. If you take this home and you don't have your user lesson quite yet scheduled, you're still gonna be able to navigate it pretty easily. When the sewing machine first starts up, you're going to be greeted by your sewing page. This is going to be for all your utility stitches. You also have your buttonhole up here. However, if you go to this home button right here and click it, this will allow you to switch between the different modes of the machine. So we have ordinary sewing mode, sewing application mode, and embroidery mode. Janome has made it very simple for you to switch between these three modes with the press of a button. If you're looking to start off your sewing, if you're doing quilting, anything of that nature, all you're going to do is click your ordinary sewing mode. This is going to bring up your utility screen. So the Janome Continental M17 is going to come with an abundance of stitches, over 800. So we're going to have our straight stitch here, our zigzags here for all those seams you're doing, and then it even goes further. So you're going to get your overlock stitch if you don't have a serger on you, which some of us don't. Um, and then you're also going to have your buttonhole selection right through here. So the Continental M17 is going to come with a plethora of buttonholes you can choose from, and it's also going to have your automatic buttonhole foot. So you're going to go over here to look between your different buttonholes. On the side of here, here you're going to see what presser foot you need to be using. So for this particular stitch, we're going to need presser foot F. 
To get out of our utility stitch mode, we can also look at our decorative stitches or our monograms. For decorative stitches, we're gonna look at the top bar right here. This one being utility, if I go and select this one, now we're looking at some of our decorative stitches and our applique stitches. And these will all be marked so you can choose which one you're looking for exactly. Just like those magnetic stitch cards I had shown before, um, you'll see these right through here. So let's say I wanna do a botanical decorative stitch. I can go ahead and click that and it will bring me up all my botanical options. So if we're doing a quilt or if we're doing the trim on a garment, we can add a little bit of flair. Over here, we can see what the stitch is gonna look like. And once again, what presser foot we need to be using. The M17 also does monogramming. To go to your monogramming, you're gonna go ahead to the little script bar right here, click that. It will give you block script, script script, it will also have different fonts for you to choose from. It also does have symbols you can do to spice up your monogramming if you'd like. The last option in ordinary sewing mode is going to be our tapering section. So just click right up here. Once again, you can see what our stitch is going to look like, what presser foot we need, and all of our default settings right through here. Some of the other convenient features on the M17 are staples you're probably already familiar with. We're gonna have our presser foot up down button right here, our cut thread button, needle up down, reverse, lock stitch, as well as needle threading right through here. The machine is also going to come with a speed function that will work with or without the foot pedal. So if you're a speed racer like I am, this can come in handy when you need more precision. <laughs> One feature that is special to the M17 is actually the articulated stitch regulator. So what the articulated stitch regulator is going to do is it's actually going to use LED transmissions to speed up or slow down your free motion quilting so you can do your own designs at your own speed while the machine keeps pace with you. This is going to be what you're using for your ASR stitching. So you can see the LED right here. This is going to be your presser foot and we're going to go ahead and show you how to set that all up. To set up your ASR stitch regulator, you're gonna go ahead to the back of the machine where this little trap door is. And then you're gonna take this and you're gonna go ahead and slide it on in just like that. For this type of stitch and to use your ASR regulator, you're gonna need to go to sewing application mode. Once you go to sewing application mode, you are going to go to this section right here, which is all for your patchwork and piecing. And we're gonna go to free motion right here. We're gonna select any stitch two through here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select four, for example. Once you're here, you'll see that it's gonna have you use the QV foot. This is your ASR foot. To activate ASR, however, there is one more step. We need to hit the ASR button right there. And now we're ready to free motion. Now we're ready to start our ASR. Now we're ready to start using our ASR for free motion quilting. So I just have a little fabric sandwich here to show you how it works. So we're gonna go ahead and click start. Now the machine's gonna start. I'm gonna go ahead and start moving. You see that light? So that's your LED transmitter. If I wanna go faster, it's gonna go faster. If I wanna go slower, it's gonna slow down for me. M17 Continental, switching between sew-in mode and embroidery mode is super easy. You're gonna go to your home screen right here, which can be reached by tapping the little home icon at the front. And then you're gonna go ahead and click embroidery mode. The machine will prompt you to make sure the correct embroidery foot is attached. And once it is, you can press okay. And now you have your embroidery mode set up. The M17 Continental is going to come with an astounding 1,200 embroidery designs already included with the machine. To navigate to these designs that are already included, you're going to go ahead and press this button right here at the top of the bar. And then you can go ahead and look through designers, and there are a multitude of designs that are included. Also with the embroidery design, if you want a design to fit a specific hoop, you're gonna go ahead and click this button right here. This will go through all the different hoop sizes the machine has. You can click which one you desire and it will bring up which designs fit exactly in that hoop you're looking for. 
Once you have selected the design, on the right hand of your screen, you'll see a few different things. First, this will tell you what hoop this size design is gonna go in. The machine will also let you know what foot you need to be using for your embroidery mode. This will give you the width and the length of the stitch or the height, you might call it like that. It will tell you how many colors are in this one. It will show you that auto tension is on, Cut thread is automatically on, and it will also show you how many stitches per minute the design will be stitched at, as well as how long the design will take. Looking down here, you'll see the colors that will be used for the design, and you'll also see their corresponding numbers. You don't have to use these exact colors. You can always mix and match to create your own customized designs as well. On this side of the screen, right here, it will show you how many stitches you have left in your design. So you can go ahead and take a break and walk off if you need to. The machine will stop between each different color, so it will not continue to do the same color over and over. The M17 will also allow you to embroider monograms. So if we go to this monogramming little tab right up here, you can see we have different fonts as well. We have our Gothic style bold fonts, our scripts, and then we have Times New Roman-esque fonts for a little bit of a more defined look. The M17 also does allow for customization of your embroidery designs, no matter it be preloaded or your own digitized designs. You're gonna go ahead and click this bar right at the top tab of the embroidery machine. And then once you have it right here, you're able to move the design. This is going to be your hoop field and this is the space you have to work with depending on which hoop you've chosen and what design. If you wanna move the design over to make room for other stuff, all you have to do is click and move. You can also make the design bigger or smaller depending on what you wanna go with. You can also mirror the design and flip it. You do have the option of moving it with these ones over here as well. And you even have the choice of maybe rearranging your colors if these ones don't suit your needs. Once you have a design that you like, you can further customize it. If you go down here to the bottom of the screen and you select the little gear right here, there you'll see a top tab up here. This one's machine settings. If I want embroidery settings, I'm gonna go ahead and click that embroidery hoop. It'll pop up right there. We can see that our auto tension is on. We can even customize our embroidery foot height. We can stop after one stitch, and we can also mess with our maximum speed setting. Janome will tell you what the standard speed setting is right here with that little dot, and you can up the speed if you want a faster design. Some other notable features for the embroidery on the M17 include the ability to sew only one color, even a design that has multiple colors like this one we've created. If you go ahead and click right here, you can tell the machine we need to not change colors at all for this one. You can click OK for that. And then it will make your machine all monocolor. There we go. Not exactly the prettiest, but it is a nice feature if you're going through and you just don't want to mess with these color changes. The Continental M17 is going to introduce a variety of different embroidery hoop sizes. For example, we're going to look at this hoop from the S9 Janome line. While the S9 is a fantastic combination machine, the M17 is going to take it up a little bit of a notch. So this is one of the S9's biggest hoops. And then we take a look at the big hoop on the M17. We have quite a bit of difference here. So you're gonna get a wide range of very large embroidery designs that maybe you couldn't do before. You can also do big throw pillows, that kind of thing. In addition to the M17's new variation in hoop sizes, they also introduce another magnetic feature. The hoops are magnetic. So when you put fabric in, the magnets will connect and keep that fabric from moving, as you can see with the one we've already hooped up. When you're hooping up the M17 Continental, you're gonna notice right here is your lock. So you're gonna pop this open, and then you also do have a little dial here. This will let you make the hoop as tight as you want so you can get that fabric nice and taut for your embroidery design so it turns out fantastic. When you're done hooping, you're just gonna go ahead and lock it back into place. To hoop the M17, all you're gonna do is you see this right here? We're gonna slide it in to our embroidery unit right through here. All it is, it's a nice one. And when you hear that click, you know you've been hooped properly. Once you've hooped your fabric and you're all ready to go and you've picked out your design, which we already have, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna click start. You'll see how long the design will take right here. So we've got another 39 minutes to kill.
All right, so a few minutes have passed since we've gone and started our embroidery design. However, if you're looking to speed things up a little bit, you can go ahead and decide to speed it up right here with the speed control. Right now we're on the slowest, which is 400 stitches per minute. But if we go all the way up, then our embroidery will speed up and now we're looking at 800 stitches per minute with an 11 minute wait time on this. The Janome M17 Continental is going to come with a plethora of accessories for you to choose from. Anything from your embroidery foot to the ASR regulator, all the way to variable hoop sizes and different needle plates like the high performance needle plate. So. For example, we have our digitizing kit for Mac or Windows that's included with the machine. We also do have grids that are included with our embroidery hoops that are magnetic. A new touch Janome has added onto them. We also do have a knee bar for our quilters out there who may need to make those quick time adjustments while you're piecing. In addition to all of our other accessories, you're also gonna get this nice sturdy box from Janome. Why don't we open it up and peek what's inside? So we're gonna pop her open just like this. And once you're inside, you'll find a leveled compartment that will organize all your feet that are included with the machine. Some highlights, of course, are your embroidery foot, your ASR feet. We also have standard feet, our directional feet, lined hems, all that stuff. We can open it up to see our different levels here for our different accessories all the way down to the bottom. The M17 is also going to include magnifiers so we can go in and really see just how our stitches are looking for precision perfect stitching. In addition to the multiple accessory kits that Janome will give you, the machine also does have built-in storage. Pretty stealthy so you're not going to notice it at first. However, if you pop your fingers right under here and then pop off this cover, we'll see that the M17 has ample storage for extra bobbins, needles, oil, all your maintenancing, or the feet that you need on a quick hand uh, that you know you're going to use pretty often. On the M17, you have the ability to sew with or without the foot pedal. But for those of us who like our foot pedal, this is what you're gonna get with the M17. It does come with a slot, so you can make sure it stays nice and steady on the ground. It's also going to come with your cut thread button right here. So if while you're sewing, you really need to cut your thread, you can just hit that and it'll cut it for you. So today we've talked a lot about the M17 Continental, Janome's newest machine, the newest gen of combination embroidery and sewing. However, there's a lot we couldn't fit in here, a lot of little quirks and stuff like that that may pertain to your interests or may pique your curiosity of it. Um, if you're ever curious about that, our Boulder location for Vacuums R Us does have an M17 on the floor that you're free to come in and take a look at. However, if maybe you're not located in the Colorado area, you can find your local Janome dealer and most likely they're probably going to have one of these out so you can give it a test run.